All right, guys, so we're here with Michaela from Wisconsin. So tell us what brought you into the Functionalology Center. So I was kicked in the face by a horse. Yeah, well, that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> and that was, what, four years ago? or five, four and a half. Four and a half years ago. And prior to coming in, you had seen, you know, chiropractors, medical doctors, PT, Botox, functional medicine, speech therapy. Is there yep. anything else that we did? Did physical therapy. Phys physical therapy. Yep. Some improvements, right? But not really. Very really minor. Minor improvements. Okay. So then you came to see us, it was a year ago in February. Yep. Correct. And tell us what kind of symptoms you had when you first started. Um, dizziness. Um, very tired. Mm-hmm. Um, Balance issues. Yeah, for sure. Balance. Yeah, a lot, lot of cognitive issues, yes, correct? Yes. Yeah, a lot of memory. Memory, dizziness, fogginess, difficulty even walking. Yeah. All right, like very imbalanced, very uncoordinated. So, you know, really what I think happened here is when that horse kicked you, because it was like straight into the nose, right? Yep. I think that it injured some very midline areas of your cerebellum, but also into the basal ganglia. So your brain does a lot of work to fire down through these loops in the basal ganglia, specifically frontal lobe to an area called the medial neostriatum. And then that area inhibits the subthalamic nucleus. The subthalamic nucleus is excitatory. So that excitatory area, if that's not happening, it can't fire some other pathways to put the brakes on. So now you have an area called the substantia nigra, and it really, really winds up, and that massively inhibits an area called the rostral pole of the superior colliculus. So if that area is inhibited, now it can inhibit some other neurons called omnipause neurons, which basically put the brakes on your eyes from jerking around, so now you have all this spontaneous movement of your eyes. So not only did you injure the cerebellum, but these frontal connections through the basal ganglia that are supposed to put the brakes on regions of your brainstem to keep your eyes from moving all over the place. So what ends up happening is you get eyes that look like this. So I'm just gonna play the video so people can see, okay? okay. And we'll just keep going on the screen. So we have a lot of intrusions. You can see all the ocular flutter of your eyelids. We can see that we want to go into convergence spasm. And so you can see changes that are going on with the pupils. So imagine trying to walk around with your eyes doing all of this spontaneous activity. What, what it ended up looking like is your gait was very broken down, correct? So you we, called it very Tin Man-like. Yeah, very Tin Man-like. And then when we would dual task you, then you would actually go into these yep. jerky types of gait. So now you're doing a lot better, right? Yeah. right? Balance is better, eyes are doing better, you're able to snowmobile race again. Yes. How cool is that? All right, That's so I'm gonna show what the eyes look like now after doing rehab with us for a year. And you could tell the difference in the dark, correct? Yes. With, with doing that? Yes. Yeah. So but before, I couldn't even tell that I was doing it. Yeah, you, couldn't, you didn't even know that yeah. your eyes were doing that. Yeah. So now, when you see this, you go, all right, your frontal lobe's doing better. It's firing down through those loops. It's basically modulating areas of your brainstem. You have you know, less of these intrusions. Now your brain knows where your body is in space. Mm -hmm. so when your brain knows where your body is in space, then it can basically fire your autonomic nervous system appropriately to get blood flow going back up into your head. You see the gait get better, you see your neck loosen up. When your eyes are doing all of this spontaneous activity, your neck gets very, very tight. And when you get that tight neck, that's gonna cause referral pain up into the head. You're gonna have headaches, your eyes are gonna feel strained, you're gonna have cervicogenic dizziness, when your eyes are unsteady, you have visually induced vertigo and dizziness, and you get this major mismatch in your system. So everything that we did was working on all the different systems. We weren't just doing cognitive. I mean, we were doing a lot of cognitive mm -hmm. and dual tasking, which nobody else had really done with you. No. We were doing cerebellar work. We were doing a vestibular training. Mm -hmm. I was adjusting you. We did some nutrition. We did everything working on it all together 
to basically make these improvements in your neurology, your structure, and your metabolic system, and then that equals better function, better life, better performance. Yeah. And now we're back racing again. Yeah. And you're riding a horse, too. I am. So, there we go, guys. Cool.